we will factor this out. We have 8x to the third power minus 125y to the third power. As usual, we should still check to see if we can factor out any common factor. But in this case, 8 and 125, we cannot. Likewise, this is just x to the third power, and this is y to the third power, so we cannot factor out anything. Then we see that because this is only a two-term polynomial, so the usual way to do it with this is we'll use formula for it. And this is the third power situation, so we suspect to put both of them into parentheses and then third powers. It's going to be a difference of two cubes. For the first parentheses, this right here was an 8, but then to put it into the parentheses, we have to think about what times what times what will give us 8. And the answer to that will be 2. 2 times 2 times 2 will give us 8. And then this is x to the third power, but then I can just put this in the parentheses like just an x. So you see, originally we had 8x to the third power, but then I changed that to 2x in the parentheses and raised to the third power. In fact, they are equivalent. And we'll do the same for the second one. Originally, we have 125. And then we have to think about what times what times what will give us 125. And the answer for that will be 5. 5 times 5 times 5 will give us 125. And then this is y to the third power, so we need to have a y right here. Alright, so this right here is a difference of 2 cubes. And we're going to use the formula for this. And let me write down the formula for you guys on the side but then we have to remember the formulas from now on. So the formula says, if we have a to the third power minus b to the third power, the factoring is going to be the following. This is going to be a minus b. And you see that we first maintain the same sign, okay? And then we just don't have the powers right here for the first parentheses. And the next parentheses is going to be a to the second power plus the product of AB, so A times B, and then we add B to the second power. This is the formula that we need to factor out the difference of two cubes. So we'll use this, and you, as you can see, this right here will be our A, and this right here will be our B. So let me just make this right here. This is the A, and this is the B. And then we just need to use the formula. But then you see, I should remember this formula, and then I would just like to write it down on the side so that when we do it, we can just mix and match the formulas, okay? So, let's go ahead and do it. The formula says, I first need to have a minus b. That means 2x minus 5y for the first one right here. So I'll do that, 2x minus 5y. Okay, and then for the next parentheses, right here, I need to have a squared. Well, a is 2x. So what I need to do right here is that I need to do 2x to the second power. And 2x to the second power, we have to work this out. 2 to the second power is 4. And then x to the second power, we can just put down x to the second power. Okay? And then this formula tells us that the sign will be plus right here. These are the a and b. You don't need to worry about the sign. It's always going to be a plus right here. Okay? a is the 5y, not I mean, the b is the 5y, b is not negative 5y. So this sign is always going to be the plus. Anyways, for this term right here, we are going to have a times b. That means 2x times 5y. So that means we have 2 times 5 is 10. xy, we can just put down xy. And this is because 2x times 5y. Okay? And lastly, we are going to add b to the second power. So I'll write it down right here for you guys. Well, b is 5y, we put in a parentheses first, and then we raise this to the second power. And we work this out. 5 to the second power is 25, and then y to the second power is y to the second power. And let me just write this better for you guys right here. So at the end, we have 25y to the second power, like this. And this right here is it. The formula stops right here because this part is not factorable. That means this part, even though it's a trinomial, but then you don't need to do a tic-tac-toe for it, it's guaranteed that this is not factorable. So, final answer is this. 2x minus 5y times 4x squared plus 10xy plus 25y squared. That's it.